All right, and other headlines around the world tonight. International inspectors have begun the process of destroying Syria's chemical arsenal, and they now say they expect to have the country's 1,000 ton stockpile eliminated by the middle of next year. Now, this, of course, comes after the Syrian government used those weapons on their own people, killing hundreds. And tonight we are learning more and more that Syrians are fleeing the violence and moving to San Antonio. But leaving behind the loved ones, living in a different country, and not speaking the language, of course, can be very difficult. News 4's Lauren Lee tonight has the story about how a church here is helping make that transition a little easier. That's news tonight at 10. Who wants to give me a verb? Class is in door. session. Good, that's right. It's the first it's English right. as a Second Language course at St. Ephraim the Syrian Orthodox that. Church. You run. Tonight they're practicing verbs. In the street. Okay. Focusing right. on both the present and past tense. It would be I stopped. And for these three students, the their present Say it in a sentence. is very you different run. from their past. Our country is destroyed. Fuad Ohana and his classmates are Syrians who speak Arabic. He moved here five months ago. It's difficult because um, we cannot understand all the words uh, they speak to. Us. Or yesterday was Sunday. That's past. Learning the language hasn't been easy. There's difference between what we learn in our country and here. The accent is different. I'm going to go to the store. That Texas twang. I'm gonna go to the store. Yes, Texas accent. Is making it tougher. It's not wrong. This class is small, say. but more than 30 other Syrians fleeing the violence have joined the church within the last year. They're somewhat intimidated by the the whole culture of America. And so this uh, was initially a first step to help ease the pain of a forced relocation. They close the door. And just learning a few simple sentences to carry on a conversation. We want to learn much and the right English in America. Can make their present lives. Find two sentences. A little less painful. You've got your grammar down. Lauren Lee, News 4, Doing very well. San Antonio. And we have more information about those classes. Just go to our website. That's news4sa.com.